Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a fun video because we all know what's happening around the world and you know, it's just not much of fun. It's Voldemort. I will not mention it obviously, but we all know what's going on. So anyway, today's a fun video. I want to do a what I got for Christmas video late, but better late than never. So um, if you're interested to see what I got, because I got some pretty cool stuff. So just keep on watching. Okay, we'll start with the first one, which is really cool. I have been wanting one of these for a while. I got a Cricut, so I'll be crafting it up. I got a Cricut Explore Air 2, and I'll insert a little bit of footage because it's really heavy. <laughs> so I'm not going to pick it up and show it here. But yes, I got a Cricut Explore Air 2 from my in-laws. I'm very excited to play with it and see what I can create. And I have a bunch of friends getting married and stuff, so I'm super excited to, I don't know, make some cards and things and I don't know so I'm just gonna mess around with it but I'm very 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 excited I decided to kneel down a bit because I was a little bit doing all this <laughs> okay so the second thing I got which is really cool as well some new exercise shoes so I got the APL Tech Loom Breeze sneakers for Christmas I had a pair of Nike shoes that I was using to exercise in walk in and all that and I got them last Christmas actually they were like the fly knit ones that didn't have laces on them but uh, after a year, like I got ended up getting holes in them and like near the uh, Achilles part. So I had to get rid of those and I asked for another pair this Christmas. So I was like, look, I don't know if Nike's getting a little cheap on me. I don't know if it was that particular shoe, but I wanted to try something different. And I've been seeing a lot of people have these shoes. I thought they were really pretty. Um, so I decided to get these. They're not cheap these are two hundred dollars um and i think i got these or they were purchased from net -a -Porte. so you can get them on the apl website or net -a -Porte, i believe um have them as well um they're super comfortable i think they look super flattering on my feet so i love them so so much they're so beautiful the only anxiety gives me is because they're white so i'm like always making sure i don't get anything on them but they were packaged super beautifully and it came with uh, this little shoe bag as well, this APL shoe bag. Um, their marketing is beautiful, their social media is beautiful, and we just love a company that puts care into their packaging, has good branding, and the product itself is amazing. They're super comfortable and flattering and I love them so much, so thank you APL. Okay, what do we want to talk about next? So I needed a bag, like a work bag to keep my things in even though I work from home, but my stuff would just be kind of like haphazard everywhere. So I wanted a bag, especially one that I could take like traveling or on the go if I wanted to work out, which I'm not doing right now, but <laughs> I'm at a coffee shop or something because my work is remote and it was remote before. So I got this bag. It's from Amazon. Ignore that little dent in it. Um, it's a really nice bag. Um, I, I believe it's a leather bag and it's by Kluki, I think is the brand, C-L-U-C-I, and I'll link it down below. But it basically has a bunch of compartments, which I'll show you kind of what I have in here. But if you look inside, yeah, there's a bunch of different compartments. There's a pin compartment. There is um, like a front compartment here where I'll put my phone. Um... So yeah, it's just overall like a really good bag. I think I want to try out one more bag, the Bay's Work Tote, when it gets back in stock in the color I want. Um, so I'm going to test that out and I'll test this out and kind of see which one I like better. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, I wish it was a little bit deeper, like wider, I think, um, just because I like to put my YouTube stuff in here as well. I also have two computers two phones <laughs> I have a hard drive I have also this little tripod and then I also have like a notebook and stuff like that so if it had a little bit more space especially for traveling I think would be better um but again I'm going to try out the base one um when it gets back in stock and um I'll try that out too but overall I think this is a really good one my husband's grandmother got me this so thank you <laughs> Next, I want to talk about this Yeti that I got. I love Yeti. Like, I'm such a Yeti fanatic. Love them and everything that they stand for. Well, I don't know about what they stand for. Don't quote me. They could be terrible people, but I just like their products. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like this large Yeti cup. I have a couple of smaller ones, but I find that I drink a lot of water out of this during the day. And, um, yeah, I, I need one. My, my in-laws have one, and I use theirs all the time, so I just ask for one for Christmas, so... I don't know simple but 
I really like this cup and it's pretty so yeah love this next is a target find that I got for myself because okay next is a target find that I got for myself because I mean I get Christmas presents for myself so <laughs> yeah um, it's a I wanted a like a light colored kind of jogging suit like a beige one so um, I got this I found it on Target it, this is like a crop sweater which it's been air drying because I just washed it so it, that's why it looks weird and then the matching pants um, I think it's by the wild fable line and I don't know it may not look like much here but it looks super good on um, especially with white shoes and cute pair of sunglasses I also have like a bum bag that is um, of that like kind of nudish color that I put with it. I'm not insert a picture here because I just wore that outfit and it is super cute. Um, love that. I'm going to be wearing it all the time and I have it in black. I also have it in gray. So I'll link it down below. The next thing, the next thing that I want to show you is this coat. It is a, um, camel kind of wrap coat that I got from Saks office or my husband got from Saks office. I asked him to get this. <laughs> Um, I sent him a link to it so he got it for me for Christmas um, and it's like a wool blend coat so not 100% wool but um, I also don't live in a super cold place it's not the warmest place but it's not super cold so I don't need like a really heavy uh, coat uh, but anyway I had a camel coat that I got from Pretty Little Thing I think it was a year or two ago and I wore it all the time everywhere <laughs> um, and then a hole got in it because of course it wasn't like the best quality one so I wanted to replace it um, with a higher quality one that I could keep for many years and I really love this again I got it from Saks Off Fifth and it wasn't like crazy expensive I actually got it on sale too so um which is nice so I'll hopefully it's still on sale and I'll put link it down below for you guys and I'll try to find a picture of me wearing it but yeah it wrap coats are really flattering on my particular figure so it looks really good and um not too expensive like perfect coat for me so love it Another little find I got for myself for Christmas were these boots. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I had a little something on there, but they are a pointed toe sock booty that I got from DSW actually. So I have been looking for a pointed toe booty, a sock booty, because I have very thin ankles. So if I wear like a typical booty, like there's a lot of ankle space and it looks kind of weird and I have to wear thick socks and like, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I wanted to find a sock booty. And very specifically, I wanted the heel to be no more than three and a half inches because I find that anything over that is like kind of difficult to wear all day. And I'm not a, I don't like to take extra shoes. I, I don't like taking off my shoes. You will never catch me doing that <laughs> ever, <laughs> anywhere, period. So uh, I'm very specific about the heel height that I wear for, um, you know, kind of like everyday um, boots that I'll wear with lots of different things. So these are perfect. There's a little bit of mud on the bottom because I was walking and I gotta clean that off. But yeah, um, I was walking and the heel kind of got caught in the ground. <laughs> it's a little bit soft. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, perfect, perfect booty. This one's not as dirty, so I'll hold this up. Um, three inches heel and um it is perfect they're very comfortable they look so good on and if you look there's like a little bit of detailing here on it so i love these and they were very affordable at dsw i think they were only 50 dollars. so i'm going to link them love these so happy with my purchase and i can see myself having these forever and they won't get scratched or anything because they're kind of like a fabric so obsessed Definitely obsessed, would purchase them again 100%. Um, another gift that I got for myself, <laughs> I wanted to get a really nice notebook because I'm starting wine school coming up. So um, I'm getting my WSET certifications, hopefully the number one, two, numbers one, two, and three. So I wanted to get a nice notebook to keep all of my notes in. I don't know if this will be enough, but so I may need another one, I'm not sure, um, but it's super pretty. And it has my name on it. Um, I got this from Papier. It is a European brand and they do like lots of beautiful stationery, notebooks, planners, things like that. So um, I am super excited about this and I start my class on the 24th of January. So I'll be using this, putting all my notes into it. And it was just like a little <laughs> cute little treat myself thing um, for school. So yeah.
I also got several gift cards for Christmas, like we all do. They're just super easy. Um, but I got a Delta one, gas, um, Target. I got a Visa gift card and then a couple of Amazon ones. Um, but I really wanted to talk about, uh, I got a Kindle gift card. So I love my Kindle. I got it for Christmas last year and I use it just about every day <laughs> to obviously read. But um, I have the Kindle Paperwhite and I just love it so much. So I uh, asked for a Kindle gift card to just get some books. So I'll link some of the books that I got, like that I picked up to read. Um, but one that I'm really excited about, um, it's called Becoming Bulletproof. It's a book by a former Secret Service agent. Her name is A.V. Pomporas. I think that's how you say it. She's Greek, um, but she's super amazing. And um, I, she has, I think it's a memoir. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's like kind of like a self-help book. Um, but I've listened to a couple of her interviews and I really um, is, am captivated by her as a person. So I am going to check out her book and I wanted to get that. And just a few others, like I said, I'll link them down below um, in terms of the ones that I picked up to read. But uh, again, I'm just a Kindle girl. I love it. And Kindle gift cards are top notch. So I'm very grateful for that. And so um, with my gift cards, I'm going to be doing some hauls and stuff um, coming up with regard to some of the things that I picked up. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching my little what I got for Christmas video. Um, it was hopefully a little bit of a fun one. Um, let me know your favorite gift that you got for Christmas this year down below. Um, would love to hear about it and see if I wanted to pick something else up or if you have any cricket tips or anything really. So uh, yeah, definitely let me know down below. Um, I, like I said, hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't, let me know why. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.